Hi everyone. So welcome to the channel, and this is Tarun Malik, right? You all know me. All right. Now you must be wondering what uh, about this session, right? What is about this session or the series? Correct. So let me tell you. Okay. <clears throat> now this series is basically uh, a challenger series. Okay. So basically we will do uh, one question that will save your time. Okay. In the examination, or could have saved your time. Okay. In the actual examination. and then the challenge will pass to the next educator okay so i will do one question today okay and i will uh, give you idea about that if you solve this question using the normal approach right how much time it will take to solve and if you use the tricks or some kind of uh, jugad correct you can save your time all right so let's do the first question of today and then i will tell you who will be the next challenger correct okay moving on uh this is my brief introduction then get it now as of now now this question will talk about okay so this is an actual cat question all right cat 12 or 13 i think 11 bhi ho sakta hai kyunki the point is that at that particular time uh, question was not out right so in general you will not find uh, such questions these are all memory based questions correct so this was in my slot only so that's why i remember correct now <clears throat> look at the question the sum of first n terms of an ap is 100 and sum of the next n terms of the same ap is 300 uh, find the ratio of common difference and the first term okay so there is an ap now first of all we will solve it using the normal approach all right and that gives you an idea that how much time it will take to solve it okay and then you can compare it with the shorter approach that how much time will you uh, save correct okay so what is the normal approach question is that sum of the first n terms so we know that sum of n terms is what n upon 2 2a plus n minus 1 into b sum of first n terms is given to you right this is given to you as 100 so this is equal to 100 now sum of next n term is 300 so if you talk about i mean we have n terms the sum is 100 next n terms sum is 300 so we can say sum of these two n terms is what 400 because we have the formula of first n terms or two n terms right that's easy to uh, use correct so instead of next n terms i will use two n terms so sum of two n terms will be what 2n by 2 2a plus 2n minus 1 into d that is given to you as 400 right i need to find the ratio of d and a If I divide these two, n will be cancelled, two will be cancelled. This zero will be cancelled. Correct. Multiply, cross multiply, करते हैं. It will be eight a plus four n d minus four d is equal to. This will give you again four a plus. Two into two, four n d, and uh, minus d. Now here, sir, will come minus two d. So minus two. Now four n d, four n d will be cancelled out. You get this is four a is equal to four is minus. Uh, this gives you two d. Correct. निकालना मुझे क्या है? D and the first term. So d upon a. Will be what? Four upon two. That is two. That's your answer. Correct. You must. You must have noted down how much time uh, it would take to solve this question. Correct. इतना समझ में आ गया होगा सबको है ना? अब second approach क्या आते हैं? है ना? Shortcut पे आओ. Have you noticed that the options does not have n? Options में n है ही नहीं. क्वेश्चन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट एन राइट बट क्वेश्चन में एन नहीं था 
तो कैन आई से द आंसर इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ एन एन कुछ भी हो आंसर सेम ही आएगा करेक्ट और अगर एन कुछ भी हो सकता है तो मैं कुछ भी एज्यूम कर सकता हूं करेक्ट तो मैंने मान लिया एन कितना है वन तो क्वेश्चन क्या बन गया आपका सम ऑफ फर्स्ट एन टर्म यानी कि सम ऑफ फर्स्ट वन टर्म इज हंड्रेड पहली टर्म का सम हंड्रेड है मतलब पहली टर्म ही हंड्रेड है द फर्स्ट टर्म इट सेल्फ इज द हंड्रेड सो पहली टर्म हंड्रेड हो गई सम ऑफ नेक्स्ट वन टर्म इज थ्री हंड्रेड तो नेक्स्ट वन टर्म का मतलब खुद ही नंबर हुआ ना तो नेक्स्ट वन टर्म इज दैट मीन्स सेकेंड टर्म सेकेंड टर्म क्या हो गया थ्री हंड्रेड वी डू नॉट नीड टू गो फर्दर कॉमन डिफरेंस कितना आ गया आपके पास टू हंड्रेड फर्स्ट टर्म आप इज गिवेन टू यू एज एज्यूम्ड एज हंड्रेड रेशियो कितना आ गया टू so if you have applied this approach right then obviously this is a shorter approach i have solved this question in one other uh, earlier video also okay in the jugad series correct but uh, i mean this is one of the question which i like a lot okay because you can obviously see that how much time it could have saved now one question can be asked here what about n his is in the options n agar option mein hote to kya hota hai na तो अगर सपोज एन ऑप्शन में है तो ये मैं एन ले लेता हूँ लेट से टू एन ले लेता हूँ वन पॉइंट फाइव एन ले लेता हूँ एन थ्री एन ले लेता हूँ देन ऑल्सो दिस ट्रिक विल वर्क राइट वाई वाई आई एज्यूम टू दैट एन इज इक्वल टू वन एंड वेन आई एज्यूम एन इक्वल टू वन आंसर इज कमिंग एज टू नाउ चेक एट द ऑप्शन ऑप्शन को चेक करो किस में आपको एन इक्वल टू वन डालने पर टू आता है ऑब्वियसली दिस इज द केस आई मीन Not in this question, but over is in another question, which may n involve hota. Then also this approach will be applied. The only point is that you have n as a assume karna, which may two options same na ho jaye. Otherwise, agar suppose wo aa gaya, right? In that case, you have dilemma ki kaun sa answer hai, hai na? Suppose n equal to one dalne par two option apko uh, two de dete, right? This case me to fight ho jati fir because answer is coming as two, right? So we can check for other options also. you get the idea correct all right so this was about the first question passing the challenge to ronak sir your favorite right and he will do one question all right of his own choice and he will give you an idea that how much time you can save in that particular question right the link of that video will be provided in the description below okay so you can uh, look at the description click on the link and you can watch the challenge part 2 all right All the best thank you very much bye bye